Thank you, Zahra. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome again to Morning Barakah with this segment of health and nutrition. And with me is Sana. Assalamu alaikum, Sana. Alaikum, salam. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. You ready for teaching us another recipe? I am, yes. Very okay, excited. Okay, so tell one. me. I'm really excited. So today we're going to be making kukul gariba. Explain further. So it's a traditional Moroccan cookie. Cocoa Cookie. meaning yes, <laughs> cocoa meaning coconut, and gariba stands for um, the actual cookie or biscuit, what we would call in Morocco. Okay. Um, so it's a lovely uh, treat to have now and then, and it's just just something that we should all try and do at home. It's it's amazing. It's so okay, yummy. Okay, so let's go through the ingredients. Okay, so we have semolina. And we have some coconut and we have some icing sugar. Okay, that's desiccated coconut Des over there. Yes, it right. is. Okay. Yes, it is. Um, it's better for this cookie for it to be like that as it makes it a lot smoother inside. Okay. Um, now, you can get different types. You can get the really thinner. fine ones, yeah. Exactly. I was just going to say. Depending on your taste. Now, I think what this have you got one, here? this is a medium. Okay. So this is a, a good one for this cookie. Some would like it a little bit. Uh, so you finer. can use different ones depending on the consistency. It is possible. Exactly, yes. Okay. And if you want it fine, you could just blend it. Okay. And uh, it will make it a bit more. I don't think you know. I've had um, semolina with, you know, um, coconut cookie. So I'm really interested and intrigued. Yes. But, you know, now that you're mentioning these, I mean, you can continue as you are. But yeah. as um, I was... Uh, sort of researching some of the ingredients that you're using, semolina is really healthy as even as a porridge and it's mm. quite filling. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only thing is with desiccated um, coconut, it has no cholesterol in there, which is really good. Exactly, yeah. But at the same time, you have to make sure that there's only a certain amount that you would use because certain things do have high calories or high fat. Mm -hmm. So you need to, you know, Think about your body type. Exactly. And I always advise even my clients, if they come to me about seeking, you know, health and nutrition and weight loss, and if they heard from their friends and it doesn't work for them, it's because they need to understand their own bodies. Mm -hmm. They need to go into their GP, they need to go and figure out, you know, what is their height, their weight, what is for them, what is their condition right now. Exactly. And it does make a difference, you know, individually. You can cater for yourself and you can maybe have that, it won't affect you, but somebody else, it might do. Mm -hmm. So you need to have the sort of knowledge. I think it's really important that we realize that. Yeah, exactly, yeah, that you're aware of that. Of course. Um, so what we're going to do is just, we're just going to begin. Right, we're going to need a, a third of, of a cup of semolina. So these are all measuring anyway, so you'll yes. know fair enough. Okay. Yeah. I mean, when you do it at home, if you do it regularly, regularly, sorry, um, you might be able to measure with your eye. Mm -hmm. So, but um, I like to just be on the safe side because of course, sometimes and we are obviously advising everyone. So usually it's a Exactly, okay. exactly, yes. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, coconut in here. This is 150 grams of coconut. Okay. Okay, that's great. And this is a cookie, which I see there's no other equipment. Like, you know, normally you need a blender or when you're baking and things like that, so, or a whisk, exactly. electric whisk. So, mm -hmm. okay, I'm more interested because it's really simple. Well, it is simple. We're, we're going to whisk just one thing, but the rest of it is all like stirring or by hand. Okay. So, um, it should be, you know, not, not And all from difficult. scratch as well. Exactly, yes. And also we're going to need half a cup of some powdered sugar or icing sugar. Icing sugar, right. Um, this is a key ingredient of the actual cookie. Really is. Um, I know it's sugary, but yes. it's again, now and then, you're not going to have this all the time. Okay. And obviously this is like, how many cookies would you say you would make from this? This would make about 10 to 12. Okay. So cookies. it's it's going to be obviously divided. It's not exactly. the whole amount. So yeah, as an extra treat, like you said, once a week, you know, there's no reason why we cannot indulge every now and again. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to mix that all up. Uh, what we also need to add in there is about a pinch of salt, uh, just to kind of uh, balance the sweetness. It's funny you saying that even about salt, because it's been narrated that um, our Prophet, peace be upon him, and his family uh, even said to Imam Ali alayhi salam to start your food with salt and end it with salt. Exactly. Because it actually, you know, gets rid of a lot of, you know, the sort of things that will happen to you that is bad for your health and salt sort of like kills that in a way. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, even though it's uh, obviously too much of anything or too little of something, but to have a little bit of salt is something that even is known to be quite beneficial for you. Exactly. Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take one egg. Now, it depends. You can put it in the bowl itself or you can whisk it separately. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just, just so the powder doesn't go everywhere. So only one egg is needed for this? Yeah. Okay. 
it's just to bring it all together. I prefer to kind of put it in here as well, just so I can have a look to see what Absolutely. comes out of the Absolutely, yeah, so you can clean it if you need to. Exactly. You really have it clear, yes, you have the blood clotting. Exactly, things. yeah, you yes. can get sometimes the little, like yes. I said, the blood clots, yeah. or even a, a bit of the shower could yeah. kind of go in. Absolutely. No, I like this type of baking because it's, Really quick and easy because normally if I was to bake, it takes like the whole kitchen. You can't cook with it because it takes the whole day and you need lots of washing and lots of, you know, other instruments that you need yeah. to use with it, utensils. Exactly. And it just makes it really difficult. But cookies are nice and easy. It's a really good treat for yourself, for your kids, for family generally. And to add along for the end of the week will be something yeah. that even if you think that, wow, you know, I'm so tired. But actually you can come up with something like this with, you know, really less effort. <laughs> yeah, get the kids involved. I know it's a bit messy with the... The icing has but that's fine but, you, know, you know it's okay i put about a teaspoon of vanilla. vanilla obviously you don't need to use this um if you prefer almond instead of vanilla you can do that or okay. you can just omit omit it it's not yeah. essential right um, some people do put uh, lemon in there so okay. they will grate a bit of the lemon um and the put actual it in the, zest or the lemon the, the, the zest. Lemon zest yes okay. and they will put that inside as well um, we only need uh, two tablespoons of oil in here as well. Is that vegetable oil that you've this got is, there? Yeah, this is vegetable oil. Okay. Okay. Well, that's why we've also um, decided to help this health and nutrition in a very short, small segment to make it you know, really easy for our audience and for people that are busy, and a lot of us do work nowadays, and to come home and still have this healthy, nutritional, and cheat day meals that makes it look like as if, oh wow, you've cooked, you've exactly. baked, and you've done everything, and it literally takes only about 10 minutes. Yes. Which is exactly. amazing, right? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. And uh, not forgetting, almost forget the, the baking, baking powder. powder, yes. Mm -hmm. We just need about yeah. a teaspoon yeah. of that. Okay. And there. I mean, normally I know with baking as well, you would sieve some ingredients, like even you've got the semolina, that can come in different, like really coarse, really fine. Yes. I forgot to ask you about that. Yes, I, that? I use fine. Okay. Just because I think it makes the cookie a lot smoother. Right. Again, experiment, see. Uh, what do you prefer? You try, try it with fine, try it with a, a coarser one, see which one you prefer. Mm -hmm. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to pour this in here. Lovely. Mix the wet with the dry with ingredients. The dry, yes. And then you whisk that together. You can whisk it. I I like to do it by hand, so I will just do a little bit by with the whisk, and then okay, just because I think I can really kind of get all the ingredients mixed together. together. All right, so so I'm just going to wow. Okay, so it becomes like a a sticky dough. It does a crumbly sticky dough. So, but the the key thing to this is that after we've mixed it, is that we should. Um, refrigerate it for about 30 okay. minutes. Okay, so this is something that you could do overnight or you need a bit of time while exactly. the rest is cooking and then prepare it in that Exactly, way. so as you okay. can see, like as I'm mixing yeah, it, I can see the, the consistency it's of starting it. to get a get bit come more. Come together. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's so simple and so easy. It is very simple. I cannot believe I'm making cookies and looking at it this way. Mm -hmm. And it's actually ingredients that you wouldn't normally have because we always think of the chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. So it's like something slightly different because not everyone has that same sort of taste. You exactly. know, we think everyone likes sweets and chocolates, but it's not necessarily. We want something different. Exactly, yes. And once you've, you know, you've kind of got it together, you can simply wrap it up with a clean film, put it in the fridge for about half an hour. Obviously, we're gonna just show you right now because we don't of have course. that time to do it, but yeah. I'm just gonna go and get the baking tray that we'll be using. So you oil this? I will put a very, just dip the brush in there, very okay. minimal amount, you don't need, as you can tell, even the cookie itself. Yes, it's quite moist. Yeah, it doesn't need no, it a doesn't lot of need oil anything, or yeah. anything. Okay. okay. Now, this is actually the fun bit. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> Right, so just move this to the side. So that has been set now for half an hour yep. in the fridge. Yep. Okay, so it's going to be quite cold. And hopefully that will make it slightly harder and hopefully hold it together. Yes, exactly. That's, that's okay. the aim so that it doesn't crumble. Right. Um, in this in this bowl here, I have orange blossom water. Okay. So I could smell something yes. really strong. Wow. You can have a smell. It's okay, oh my god, that's amazing. Really, really, yeah, beautiful. So how do you use that in the ingredients? So how I'm going to use it is simple. I'm going to dip 
hands in there. Okay. I'm going to show you now. Let's just make sure. Dip both hands in. Get a great amount of, right. of the orange blossom water on your hands. And you can get them anywhere? You can get it anywhere. Most Middle Eastern stores have right. it. I mean, in... Um, I've never, ever known to... Oh my gosh, I've never yeah. used that ingredient before. And the smell's amazing. It's amazing, yes. It's a wonderful smell. We, we use uh, a lot of this in Morocco. And okay. um, the difference between the rose water and the orange yeah. blossom water, we call the rose water the Maiwarad, and the, the yes. orange blossom, we call it my Zahar. So um, not like everyone use it, yeah. uses it, but we do in Morocco a lot for m a lot of our cookies. Um, the baking, so, okay. Yes. Yeah, because I know rose water is quite common. Mm. So and it will so stay there. The fragrance is so wow. so amazing. So, so this is the amount of the size you would normally. Yeah, like the size of a, a kind of a, a walnut. Sorry. Okay. About that. That's Smiling. perfect. Okay. But then also what we will do. Oh, you're going to coat it. Sugar yes. coat it. Lovely. Very. You know, it depends. You don't need to do too much, no, but just make course. sure the whole thing is covered, yeah. and then just slowly. Kind of will it expand a bit? It will, and you'll, it will, when it bakes, it, it will breaks. start to kind of break, and it will have that beautiful kind of look right. to it. And then you would just put it there, and then you'd just do the same for the rest of it. Right. And once, it's, once you've done it all, you would leave it in the oven at 180 degrees for 10 minutes. Oh, so it doesn't even take that long? No, 10 Amazing. minutes. And what you'll find is some of the cookie, when it comes out, it might start to break and fold, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Take it out, what you will do is just gently push it back into shape. While it's hot. Whilst it's hot and okay. leave it, it will dry and then and it, it will, will harden. Cold. Okay. And, and that's it really. Do we it's have a finished product here for us to yes. taste and hopefully <laughs> I can have a real, you know, indulgent on that. Exactly, let me just go and bring that. Right, here we go. Oh, wow. So this was that something looks absolutely amazing. We had made earlier. So the color doesn't really change so much because some of the cookies will go a lot darker. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So this remains as quite light and bright. Yes. Okay. So can I? You can go. <laughs> one second though. This. I want to do one more thing. Okay. Fine. Before. I'm so impatient right now because this is so appetizing right now. The finishing touch. Okay. Oh, you got more icing sugar. Okay. This yeah. is. An option, by the way, because yes. we have used a lot. <laughs> it's an option, but you know, um, when you have guests over, you of just course. might want to kind of make it look a little bit, you know, prettier. Or well, to be fair, the ingredients are not the usual and not the norm. And uh, again, we are using it in different amounts for each yes. cookie, so there's nothing wrong. And it does have a lot of nutrients in the case, so I'm going to try one. Go ahead, one. yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to break it so I don't have a whole lot. Wow, it looks absolutely amazing. That is delicious, absolutely yeah. delicious, and it's really soft actually, I didn't realise. It is, it's really soft inside. It kind of melts in your mouth to a bit, Yeah. because normally cookies are really hard. Exactly, yeah. It looks like it's hard, but when yeah. you bite it, it has exactly. this Exactly, no, this is absolutely delicious. Texture, yeah. Mm. It's really, and it's quite addictive as well, when you have one, you might have a few after. And yes. you know what? Uh, this plate's staying here with me, <laughs> even after the show. Thank you, you so much. You're welcome. Traditionally, we do serve this with some Moroccan mint tea. Mm -hmm. And it goes so Absolutely well delicious. with it. And um, it kind of complements it. That's a really good idea because obviously, you know, we normally have sugar mm -hmm. in our tea. So if you're going to have something like this, you can have that as an additional extra. Exactly. And you don't need to put sugar in your mint tea. Exactly. Um, because this has got the sugar. And like you said, it will just balance, balance it out. Balance it. Thank you so much You're for this, welcome. and I'm looking forward to finishing this off. <laughs> but before we do, I'm going to have to say thank you so much for watching. And inshallah, we will be back with more recipes. Thank you very much. See you next time. Over to you, Zahra and Ali. Assalamu alaikum.